I will get fired into welcoming our first speaker. So first up, I would like to welcome um, Love to Ride to the stage. Active travel has always been a key part of changing how people make sh make short trips around our area. And we've been working with Love to Ride for more years than I care to admit at this stage. It's, it's been quite a while. But Love, Ride, Love to Ride has been really good at trying to democratise and popularise cycling as a way of getting around rather than it necessarily being a sport activity to make it more welcoming and more inclusive. So, without further ado, I will welcome Will Pager to the stage from Love to Ride, who is going to tell you all about the exciting things that are going on with them and what we're going to be doing in, in, in the Southern for the next year or so. Perfect. Well, hi, guys. Um, nice to meet you all. Basically, what we've been doing, as Andy kind of said, we've been in uh, Southampton for quite a long period, but this will be the first year of the launch of Solent. So Winchester, Portsmouth all coming on board, uh, and we're keen to spread the message and grow the numbers that we've got already riding in Southampton. So a quick overview of today. I'll try to keep this as short as possible, but I'd love to ride intro. Our Ride 365 program, which is the campaigns we run throughout the year for businesses in the area, uh, the benefits to those businesses uh, and kind of what that looks like on their profile pages and how to get the business set up, um, etc. So if we get into what Love to Ride is, I think it's a good place to start. So our plan is, as Andy said, to get the world riding bikes. So we focus on those new occasional cyclists who, you know, bikes been sitting in their garage for 15 years. Can we get them back out and enjoying cycling, whether that be for trips to transport, to the shops, taking their kids to the school? Uh, obviously the enjoyment rides as well, but there's no pressure on distance or mileage with what we're doing. It's about encouraging as many people to get on their bikes again. Um, and we do this by promoting and enhancing kind of on the ground cycling provisions and working with people like Andy and Ursula in Southampton uh, to kind of develop this in that area and make it as localized as possible. So what is Ride365? So we run four campaigns throughout the year um, with a couple of things in the middle of that as well. Um, but essentially, the next big one to think about is Cycle September. Um, we literally have just finished bike month. So that was throughout the whole of May. Um, so we'll be creating the stats today and looking at how many people took part. I think we've had about 1,500 people in Southampton take part, which is fantastic. Um, and we use these two campaigns to bookend the summer. So. We've now got the whole of the summer to engage as many people as possible to get uh, Cycle September as packed as possible. And I'll kind of go into what it involves, but essentially it's it's a workplace challenge, um, which has been really, really successful in Southampton. And now it's about kind of growing that into the wider reaches. Um, we want as many people who are traveling in and transporting in, whether it be by train or bus, to try connect their routes with bike as well. Um, the other two campaigns, not to forget about them, but Ride Anywhere, uh, Ride Anywhere Week is at the start of the year in March. And then we run um, uh, Winter Wheelers in December where we give away prizes throughout throughout December until Christmas Day, we give away e-bikes. So Cycle September, as I said, it's a global workplace challenge. So this is taking part all over the world. Uh, we're giving away uh, in the region of about 10,000 prizes in the UK. Um, that might change, might get bigger, depending on who sponsors and gets involved as well. But the, we know the key prize this year, again, will be a £4,000 holiday, which seems to get people pretty involved in it. Um, the goal is, is to get as many people, friends, family, co-workers involved. It is a workplace challenge, but it doesn't mean that you can't take part as an individual. Obviously, people work, work by themselves, you know, self-employed as well. So it doesn't matter whether you do or don't, but we're keen to get as many workplaces involved, encourage that kind of co-worker mentality, compete against local rivals and competitors, um, and, and log as many points as you possibly can. So currently, this is all from uh, 2022. All the kind of new promotional material will be ready in a couple of weeks. So to give an overview of how that kind of works, and, and like I said, you know, it's it, it, we're trying to get this to support as many new riders as possible. So you can see that you get one point per mile you ride, you get 10 points per day you ride, and then you get points for encouraging new people to ride a bike. So whether it's an existing rider or a new rider, we really push the encouragement piece. So the keen cyclists out there can rack up their miles, but actually encouraging people is a really important part to getting it as, you know, as successful as possible as a workplace and to climb that leaderboard. Uh, and we've seen that in the past. Southampton University have always, uh, I think in the national leaderboard last year, they were in the top three. Um, and so it's really important, you know, we keep this kind of growing across that region. So obviously the key to what we do is, is behavior change. And I think a bit of an understanding around this is, is the campaigns are super important. And this is how we get people kind of bought in in the contemplation stage and trialing out a bike. 
uh, and hopefully get them on some doctor bike sessions and free trial bikes and those kind of things. Uh, and hopefully with that incentives of campaigns or the community on our platform, um, can we get people to ride more regularly? And obviously the goal of all this is to get as many people riding to work as possible, make your area more sustainable, fitter, healthier. Uh, and this leads on to the businesses. So hopefully everyone knows all these reasons by now. It's, it's pretty obvious stuff as well. But, uh, you know, cutting emissions is a huge part of why we do this. Uh, but from a business standpoint, it's that reducing stress, mental health, uh, sick days, car parking is always a nightmare in cities. So if you can cycle, um, and so the benefits to the business are massive. And so, you know, the goal of this is, is we need those champions in those workplaces to really push our message and we will create all the promotional materials, emails, socials for you guys to use. So all you have to do is copy and paste and chuck it in kind of a work, whether you use Slack or teams or whatever, uh, to spread the message of love to ride and get as many people signed up. So the, the champs of those workplaces are super key to, to kind of building these benefits out. So just a little bit about the website. Now, I hope you guys sign up and, and have a look yourselves. Um, this is the new new URL, but obviously we have one for Southampton, Portsmouth and Winchester individually as well. Um, but essentially you have your own user profile. You then have your workplace group where you can message teammates, uh, anyone in departments, look at your stats, leaderboards, and I'll kind of show you a bit more of that in a second. Um, you can see what campaigns, challenges and prizes are coming up. Uh, a bit like a kind of Facebook for cycling, we have the social features where you can high five people's rides, encourage people, share photos and stories. So to, to create that community, obviously, we've got a, a good, amazing one in Southampton. We just want to kind of spread that further and further now. Uh, and then obviously local information. You know, we work hard with councils to make sure that we have the right, right information on the website of what's coming up, whether it be events, tips, courses, uh, bike shop, finder tools. So you guys can find exactly what's needed in your area. So a bit about what you kind of get as a business, which is, I think, really important to this as well, is obviously you get Ride365 and it's all free. Um, you get your own business page once you set it up and with a champ on there and you can kind of see all your stats and who's riding and leaderboards. Um, you have access to that data and how much CO2 you're saving, which is obviously great for a social standpoint as well. Um, and like I said, we create the engagement promo packs for you guys to use. So all the work's taken out of the hands. You just have to spread the message for us. Uh, and if you ever have any issues, we have a project support team 24 hours who can help you through that as well. So another example, Ursula, you are on the screen, uh, is the Southampton City Council I kind of pulled up, uh, but we could have done this for loads of really successful businesses we have on our platform in Southampton. Uh, but we can see how many people are riding from those from the team up here. We can see how many new riders, how many total miles they've cycled. Uh, you can see their CO2 saved. This is where you can message the team and set goals for your whole team throughout the year. Um, and this is obviously the social section as well. So there's lots of information on that. You can support it, but again, come back to it. And, and the really strong message of all this is we need good champs who are going to kind of support our message and help us kind of grow this and make their business a sustainable focus and, and, and kind of spread that word. So last message, like I said, the resources page will all be sorted in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, Cycle September runs the whole of September. Uh, in about three weeks' time, we'll have that ready to start be sending out to people and be getting links out to everyone to have that. Um, and then we just need you to spread the message. Now, I've kept this as short as sweet as possible to kind of explain Love to Ride, but hopefully not bore you to death with it. Um, but the future of this is, is kind of now, how can we spread it into the Portsmouth and Winchester areas as well? Um, like I said, we've got some great, great businesses in Southampton taking part and hopefully, you know, they can keep winning prizes. Uh, the last two campaigns, the biggest prizes have been won in Southampton, even nationally, which is, uh, yeah, not a coincidence. It's pure luck, which is amazing. Uh, and so hopefully someone can win the foreground holiday, but any questions happy to take them from now. Um, a couple of questions that I've had from, from kind of previous ones is when can people start signing up for cycle September? Yeah, so pre-registration will open kind of mid-June. Um, so once we have the promotional materials ready, we'll open it on the website. Um, people who are already signed up or businesses will get that email. Champs will get the promo pack sent to them so they have a full understanding of how to kind of spread that message. Excellent. And now I've got, I've got one that's come in from the floor. Is it completely free for all businesses in the area? It is 100% free, all the prizes, everything, all the data, you get all that included. Um, if you do have any issues, please let us know. There shouldn't be any issues. We've created an, a new larger map to incorporate everyone. 
Um, there, there can sometimes be the odd hiccup. There should definitely shouldn't be, but it is 100% free for everyone to take part. Cool. And is there a place that people can go and look and check that their workplace is inside the area? Yeah, when you um when you go online, sign up, register, it will say add your workplace. Whether it, you know, let's take uh let's take Southampton Council. When you start typing in Southampton Council, it will either pop up and you can just join that workplace or it'll say create a new workplace. It should all be fine. That it will come up with a paywall and say you're in an unfunded area. If you're not, I am ninety nine point nine percent certain we shouldn't have that problem. Uh, it's a widely covered area. Um, but yeah, if there are any issues, please, please let us know or us or Andy know, and we can get that sorted in, in 24 hours for you. Fab. And we have, have had the same question come up from a couple of people, which is how do you go about tracking mileage? Is this like Strava or is it user entered numbers? Yeah, great question. There's loads of different ways to do it. So if you do use Strava already and you are a cyclist, you can sync Strava into our platform and that will automatically load up. You can also manually log your trips and these are all audited at the end, but a lot of people don't still have um, Android or iPhones, uh, can manually log them. And if you have an iPhone, we have our own Love to Ride app, which automatically logs all your rides for you. You don't have to open it. It just understands and knows when you're on a bike, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and by the start of Cycle September, our plan is to have that on Android as well. So loads of different ways to log your trips. Um, but once you go on, you can sync all those kind of things up and have a look around. But it's it's pretty simple. Fabulous. Um, you talked earlier about this, about how you're encouraging new people. What particular things do people need to be aware of when it comes to um, encouraging people and people's pathway through the app? Encouraging people to cycle? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, there's there's loads of big barriers to cycling, right? And uh, and the key is with especially coworkers and that that positive message is if you can encourage them and support them cycle to work, you know, the scariest trip is always the first trip on a bike. Um, we do a lot of supporting uh, bike rides where we're based in Bristol, where we'll pick someone up from their home and cycle them to work for the first time. Um, once people get over that barrier of getting their bike, then it then it's a great way. Um, hopefully, through through Solon, that we, we might run some doctor bikes later in the summer as well. If we can get people's bike service so they feel confident being on there again, um, there's loads of great ways to get people. But encourage, encourage, encourage. Get everyone understanding where you know where all the key resources are, understanding where the bike paths are so they feel confident to cycle. And am I right in remembering from a purely selfish point of view that for people looking to win prizes, you get more reward from encouraging other people to cycle than you do for your rides? You get more points. So you'll still get the keen cyclist racking up 100 miles on a weekend. Um, but obviously, to encourage one person, you get 100 points. So it's super, super important. Uh, we know to spread the message, it is about encouraging. Um, you know, there are apps out there like Strava, which are calling people athletes and competitors. That's not our goal. Our goal is to get everyone in the area cycling, make streets safer, uh, more sustainable. That's the key of us. Now, there's a few more questions in there. Um, oh. Is the scope for this to be free across the UK? Um, <laughs> if the government wanted to pay for it, uh, so so we work with uh, at the moment about thirty five councils across the UK. Um, so there's large areas which are funded. There's also large areas which are unfunded. Um, they can still use the platform. Unfortunately, things like the prizes they won't they won't get, and their business can't take part. But as an individual, you can still log all your trips, see what's going on. Uh, but unfortunately, it has to be funded by councils and governments to make it free for everyone. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be able to afford all the great prizes. And yes, uh, the next question on there is from that person as well. Uh, yeah, those businesses, we will do everything to get those businesses signed up as a yep. Love to Ride for Biz account so they can take part with the other offices. And we do that a lot across the UK. Yeah. And he says, finally, what would your call to action be for people as they as they as as you finish your talk and prior to, to heading off? Go sign up. Yeah. <laughs> Get on the website. Have a look. Go on love to ride uh, forward slash Solent or forward slash Southampton. They all go to the same page now. Um, and and the goal is to sign up, have a look around. You know, any feedback, any questions, let us know. But we're happy to help. Cool. Oh. And and I say, if you are from one of the workplaces in the Solent region and you need some help with that, tap us up on workplaces at myjourneyhampshire.com. We are we are always keen to take people's questions. If your workplace is already on Love to Ride, go and sign up and get involved in it. If it's not, and you're a bit kind of, here be dragons, I don't know how this works, 
give us a shout. We we can we can help you out with that because we're looking to make this as easy as possible for you because we want you to engage in this and we want you to go out and to ride bikes more often and to enjoy doing it and to get some sunshine. He says, not that the sun is out right now. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much, Will. You've been absolutely brilliant. It's lovely to have you on. It's lovely to no see worries. you. I'm going to let you crack on with the rest of your day. Cheers, everyone. Thank you very see much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.